Welcome to another episode of BHP Book Club. I'm your host, Kelly Morgan. Today I'm speaking with Dr. Teresa Cody as we talk about her book, You Healing You. And it is a book about platelet-rich plasma and how this plasma can literally heal you. It's a wonderful book. She talks more about the process and how it works. I'm so glad that she's a member of the book club and decided to share her story with us today on the podcast. So let's get right to it. Welcome to the podcast, our newest member, Dr. Teresa Cody. Yep. Teresa, thank you so much for being a part of the book club and coming on the podcast. Welcome. Oh, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. You are very welcome. So we're going to talk about your book, You Healing You, which is about platelet-rich plasma. But before we get into what that is and what that is, I'm interested to how this book became a book. I mean, are you, do you now consider yourself an author? Is this a one and done? What's going on? Okay. um, I just found that platelet-rich plasma was a miracle. It just healed everything up and I wanted to tell the world about it. And I thought, well, maybe I could write a book. And I heard a prolific author, I can't even remember who it was, say that he wrote 200 crappy words a day. That's what he did. I said, well, I can write 200 crappy words a day. <laughs> and, and so I started and, okay, it's much harder than you think to write a book. <laughs> much easier to read a book. And I thought it was a tome and it's, you know, about this thick with pictures. But it, it, it really um, begins the conversation of what platelet-rich plasma can do and all the miracles we have seen with it. So that's, I think I'm one and done, unless I run into something else that I just feel so passionate about that I, I have to write a book. <laughs> so how long did it take you to put the book together? Like from start to finish? Uh, From start to finish, it took about a year, but a lot of that was not writing. Waiting for, uh, you know, making a book cover and um, there's other things you do with a book that take time that of course you don't consider when you first start because I didn't know even how to do it. I did get help. because you have to apply for different numbers. And um, so I hired a woman to help me finish it gotcha. and get an editor. And, you know, there's there's a lot to it. <laughs> there is a lot to it. And it sounds pretty easy until you dive into it, you know, and then you're like, whoa, there's a lot that I had no clue about, right? Right. So you're a one and done with this book. Who knows? But you might find something else to write about. You never know. You yeah. Know? And uh, I'm, I'm less intimidated by it. You know, I, I did enjoy writing it. I sat on my um, my uh, deck and sat outside a lot of the time and wrote it. So that part I enjoyed a lot. The, um, the mechanics of getting it produced that's when I I finally had to hire somebody because I just, there's, it's complicated. And there's a lot of information out there too if you really don't know what you're mm-hmm. looking for, right? Mm-hmm. There's a ton of information out there. So, you know, but you know, like I said, you might find something else to write about. I might, you know? I might. Um, but I think harder than publishing the book is marketing the book. So what, yeah. what, what did you do to market? Well, um, I don't have a large budget. So um, uh, I am a dentist, but, um, and I have a dental office, but I actually don't see very many patients. I retired in 2016. So um, 
I do podcasts like this. I, I like to share the information uh, kind of one-on-one because then people begin to understand it. And um, it's mainly word of mouth at the moment. But I do have a large dental practice where I market my book to. Yeah, um, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So tell... So I don't mean to interrupt you, Teresa, but I'm, I'm interested okay. in, in when you are marketing the book, who who do you believe your audience? Is your audience everybody? Well, that's an interesting thing. Now, we do do vampire facials, and um, it's an aesthetic treatment. You put the plasma in the face and improve your skin quality and reduce pore size and kind of get that glow back. Um, That part is really targeted for women. Um, My avatar is probably women 45 to 65, right? Now, the rest of the book about healing up tendons in toes and hips and shoulders and, you know, rotator cuff injuries and plantar fasciitis and feet, that's everybody and um then males are they begin to be interested (laughs) you know and it's funny because ever since i learned about um prp i because i have knee injuries i have achilles injuries i you know all types of injuries so the last time that i went and saw an orthopedic surgeon for my knee i asked about um, PRP because they offered me uh, cortisone. Right. And I said, well, what about the the PRP? And he's like, well, you can get it. We don't really offer it because it's very expensive. So I'm interested to find out what you know about it, the information that you shared in the book, and then how you've made it affordable for people. Well, um, I pay... Um, a person and I have a third party now to just verify insurance all day at the dental office right and I didn't want to do that in in my wellness center so I don't really take insurance so I have made it very affordable so that you know you're never you you're not even going to get to your deductible So what we do is um, the aesthetic treatments are a little more like the face, but what we do is we do one PRP kit. So that that does a shoulder, let's say. And um, my nurse uh, does the injections and I charge $199. Per injection. Well, not per injection, per area. For area, mm-hmm. so I I charge you by the kit. Like it's it's really um, to draw the blood and a test tube and maybe two test tubes. It depends on the area and how much PRP you need. So I don't know. I think that you know most of our medicine is based on insurance. Mm-hmm. So. No, we are like, well, we don't have socialized medicine. No, but we have insurance medicine. That's what we have. And I know an OR nurse who is a patient and she told me, oh yeah, we used to offer that in the OR, but the hospital won't let us offer it anymore because insurance will pay for it. Now, you know, if we were free, really, they would offer it and tell you how much they charge for it. But I don't know why he would charge. I don't know why it would be so expensive. I just yes, don't know. Very, it's not very, very expensive. It was very mind blowing because it's better for you than cortisone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, well, cortisone it, takes away the pain, but interrupts healing. Okay. So the first part of healing is to have inflammation. So we all are kind of told inflammation's bad, but it's not bad 
it's just chronic inflammation is bad because it never gets to the healing stage. So what the platelet-rich plasma does, or the plasma itself, it it does cause inflammation. Sometimes you hurt a little bit more right after we inject you, like the next day, and maybe the next day. And then you get into the healing phase because the chemicals that you make in inflammation become the chemicals that cause and continue the healing. So if you don't go through inflammation, you actually don't get to, to healing. Mm. And that's called the inflammation pathway leads into a pathway called the resolution pathway. And name that because it resolves the issues. Now, the inflammation pathway, the little chemicals called prostaglandins, they hurt you. They're, they cause pain. But those same chemicals that cause pain become protectins and resolvins. Those are two of the four that um, they, they start the healing process. So cortisone actually stops the pain, but it also stops the healing process. And one of the reasons you can't just continue to put cortisone in and because it starts to destroy the area, well, yeah, you've destroyed all ability to heal. You don't feel the pain, but you're not healing either. Yeah, very true. So yeah, that was the last, the last time I went and had somebody look at my knee, I had asked about that. So for those of us that don't know exactly what PRP is and knowing that it has to do with blood and plasma, how do you go about getting it? Is it your blood? And then you yes. re-inject it back into me? How does that work? Yes. So we draw blood just like you would go and do lab work, right? We draw blood and um, we put it in a centrifuge and spin it. And so after you spin the blood, the red blood cells fall to the bottom of the tube and the plasma and platelets are sitting on top. So we pipette off the plasma because we, we do it in a uh, tube that has, uh, uh, stops um, the clotting. So naturally, the plasma portion of the blood causes, causes clotting. So in dentistry, we use that clot. Well, I have my surgeon who comes in and um, removes uh, wisdom teeth. Um, he puts the clot in the socket and then um, stitches it in there. And you have basically a natural, beautiful Band-Aid. Our patients actually don't need any pain meds after wisdom teeth removal. And it's wow. really because of the plasma. But we, um, we want it in a liquid form, so we stop the clot and we take it off and we just pipette it off the top and we use it like that. I mean, we inject it into areas of the body, but um, one of my good friends, the best thing for her is we make eye drops and they're very soothing. And she has very dry eyes and they really, help her to um, to feel better. Now, she has a condition that the dry eyes will never heal, really. But that way, she doesn't need drops all day. Mm. She actually gets bad, and I yell at her because she, she'll stop using them because she feels better. <laughs> but then, of course, it comes back. So then she starts using them again. <laughs> so, you know. So when you're using... Uh the PRP to treat areas, shoulder, whatever, how long does it last? It depends on what the damage is, right? Um, so if you have a torn rotator cuff, right, and you can't do that overhand throw action, um, we'll do um, one, two, three treatments, and it'll be fixed. It'll heal itself. So it's interesting that this is the treatment that horses get all the time. People really? don't get it, but horses get it. Well, you know, they have very long ligaments and tendons. And um, 
if your horse is down, you, I mean, if they can't walk, you're going to have to put it down. So um, my neighbor has horses. That's how I found out. Because I told her I'm opening a clinic and we're using platelet-rich plasma. She goes, oh, I know all about it. They've been doing this on my horses for 15 years. <laughs> really? I had no idea. So you're basically saying, like, say, for instance, me, I have a torn ligament in my knee and I've already had two surgeries to my right knee. So they're saying another scope, no more surgery, nothing, nothing would help. And you're too young to replace it. So you're right. just going to have to deal with it. Right. right. You're just going to have right. to wear a brace or wrap it for support and ice it and just do whatever because there's nothing we can do for you with the exception of we can give you some cortisone, which I said right. no to. How do you think the the plasma would help my knee? Would it would it repair the rip or would it just make it feel better? You know what I'm saying? No, I think it repairs the rip depending on how how much it's ripped, right? right. But I, we have treated, um, and I only know this because they bring in the, the MRI um, reports, and we have treated full thickness tears that have gotten better, that they just don't want to do surgery on. But, and, I, and you know, this one patient I, that comes to mind, I told him, you know, I have no idea. It may not help at all. But his wife was like, no, you need to go do this. <laughs> and so he couldn't take care of his cows. He couldn't lift his arm. And so he was on a ranch. So uh, after one treatment, he could lift it um, probably 45 degrees more. And then we did a second treatment and um, he hasn't been back. So I think it's <laughs> So how... How far in between treatments? We do them um, six to 12 weeks apart, depending on kind of the injury. And um, I know that the, the plasma keeps working for 12 weeks. I know it keeps healing. And we see certain things happen right away. And then we see other things that take three weeks and then something changes in six weeks. And, um, you know, the key is when we do an area, the key is that the person stays off of it, not off, but doesn't push and lets it rest and lets it heal. Because that's the key. Because if you don't let it heal, it, you know, I have people that don't want to stop lifting weights. Well, you have to take a break and let your, let you have to let the tendons come back together. Right. So you have to let it heal. So mm -hmm. is the book available everywhere? It's available on Amazon. And um, and that's about it. Okay. I did that self-publishing with Amazon. And then if somebody was actually like, I am really interested in, in possibly getting this treatment, where's your clinic located at? It's right outside of Houston, Texas, in a city called Sugarland. Um, cause I'm smart. I put a dental office in Sugarland. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. We had the sugar factory here <laughs> for years. Now it's closed, but, <laughs> um, and, uh, so it's a suburb of Houston, Texas. And, and Teresa, do you have a website? I do. It's, um, cncwellness.com, which is the... It's easier if I say this. It's the letter C, the word and, A-N-D, and the letter C, wellness.com. Gotcha. C yeah. and C, wellness. Thank right. You. My dental office is C and C uh, dental. <laughs> I just kept with the same theme. Yeah. My husband is Cashin and I'm Cody. <laughs> That's funny. But that makes sense. It makes sense. Teresa, thank you so much for sharing your book, You Healing You, and Platelet-Rich Platelet Plasma. I think it's fascinating. I'm actually interested in getting... You need to come see me. You know what? And I'm honestly thinking about it because for what they would charge me, I could book a flight, come to Houston, 
get the treatment and leave like the next day. You know what I mean? And it would still be cheaper. Uh, see, and I, it's, that's just ridiculous. And I'm There's honestly no thinking about, I'm honestly giving this some thought. I do have people flying in now. Do you? I bet you do. Well, for 200 bucks, when, like I told you, when I went to my orthopedic, he told me it was at least $1,500. $1,500. I know. And it works better than what you are offering me, which is really kind of mind blowing, but we're not going to get into what's wrong with medicine. That's a whole nother conversation. That's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> That's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the podcast. And Thank being you, a part of the book club. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you for listening to another episode of BHP Book Club. I have been your host, Kelly Morgan. I just wrapped up with Dr. Teresa Cody as we talked about platelet-rich plasma or PRP. You can actually check her out and what she offers on her web website, C and C Wellness. That C, the letter C, A N D C Wellness.com. If you are an author and you would like to come on the podcast and promote your book, I'd love to have you. Go to my website, brightheadedpublishing.com. Go to the contact section, drop me a note. We'll connect. Next thing you know, you're on the podcast promoting your book. As I always say, thank you so much for listening and spending time with me today. I truly appreciate you because there are so many podcasts. You have so many choices. So thank you for choosing this one. Next week, I'll have another author, another journey, another story. But until then, keep writing. <laughs>